Hello, this is the Altitude Pro Quick Start Guide. It's for WordPress power users. If, you, if you're used to WordPress, if you know what you're doing, this is easy to set up. The front page is built from seven text widgets. Format your content using the WordPress editor, then click the text tab, copy and paste the HTML into text widgets named front page one to front page seven. So if you go to, this is the theme we're dealing with. And this is how the front page looks. But to get your content into the front page, you just need to paste these, uh, you know, headlines and text into text widgets. So your parents, widgets, and you've got front page one to front page seven. All you do, paste your text in there with the headings and you know, buttons and things like that, or your text links, whatever. You can change the background images using the customizer and the background images in, uh, the, the demo uses 1600 by 1050 pixels and they've got a dark overlay. They've got a CSS overlay over the, uh, the background images. So if you look at the background images, these images here, if you add your own images, they will be darker than the, than the original image because there's a, a text, a CSS text overlay. But to change them, just go to the Appearance Customizer, Background Images, and you can just remove the uh, the the original images there and just change them, change image. But if you look like, and you can't really tell on these, but the, the picture is significantly lighter here than it is here, which makes it easier to read this text. Jump links on the front page. What you'll this, what you'll see is um, the these links here. Just close the box. The, these links, <laughs> the, these links are just text links. It's just a plain text link with a class applied to them. Now there's two different types of buttons. Um, you've got class button and class button clear white because there's different colors see that's that's button is blue is button and that's clear and it's white when you roll over it so there you two classes for your images uh, for your buttons um the there's an image on the demo and if you have a look at the image it need this image here it's stuck right to the bottom of the div when you put an image in there, it won't be stuck to the bottom of the div. It'll, there'll be a quite a big gap above it. And to make the div, to make, to sort of make the image stick to the bottom of the div, what you need to do is wrap the image in this div class bottom image. So you put your, your image in there in the between the div and that will uh, remove the padding at the bottom. There's also a bit of text that's called a small disclaimer. I'm not sure which bit that is. I think it's near the top. Oh, that's it. This text is wrapped in the um, the span class small disclaimer. And the layouts, the front page has seven text widgets. So go to your widget areas, appearance widgets. You've got these seven front page one, front page two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they're the stripes you see on the front page. But you can put several text widgets or several widgets you don't have to put text widgets in you can use you know any widget um, but you can put up to nine widgets in a single widget area so each of these widget areas can have up to nine widgets inside and these are the boxes you get if you put one widget it looks like this two you'll get two stacked on top of each other if you put five you'll get a broad one there at the top and then four small boxes underneath six you get two full width widgets at the top and the bottom and then four that are 50 percent width these are the, the nine layouts you can have and the best way to deal with that is just to experiment and see uh see see you know what you can build up what you can actually make uh to look good on your site well that's more or less it it, it is once you understand how it works it really is quite simple the jump links are made like this if it's in the page that's all you need if it's in the button that just goes from one part of the homepage to another. 
if you put them in the in the headline in the in the menu you will need the full url so you'll need your full url to your site then a forward slash pound sign front hyphen page hyphen two three four five and the, the number two three four five corresponds with the number of the widget area because each one of these that's widget area one or front page one widget area that's front page two widget area front page three widget area front page four widget area and when you click the button it scrolls that will scroll to front page seven which is the bottom one this one just scrolls to front page two widget area which is the next one that's more or less it it really is once you understand how it works it really is an easy uh, theme to set up and use and it is a really good theme the only thing i would say the background images are big so if you've got four images that are 1600 by a thousand or 1050 it adds up to more than a megabyte just for the background images so what i did i put some plain color background images in um which don't look quite as good but <laughs> it, it reduces the file size of your front page um, and if you use these jump links on the front page make some way for people to get inside your website someone says to me you can't get inside you know there's nothing inside it there's just it's just a one page website but it's not a one page website it's just that with those links at the top there you've got to have some other way to get inside you could always have a blog link and that could take you to your blog section or whatever but don't forget these links all link to the front page. If you set it up as the front, as the demo, all the links in the nav bar just link to the front page. Anyway, I'll leave it there because this is supposed to be a short video. It's a good theme, well worth considering. Bye.